Hi guys, it's Becky at Babes in Hairland. Today we've got a fun Halloween bun to share with you today. It's really quick and easy, so let's show you how we did it. For starters, we made just a half pony and secured it with an elastic here back on the crown. You could totally do an entire bun with all of the hair if you want. Um, we are going to make a rope twist where you divide the hair in two and twist them one direction and then pass the right over the left. So I'm twisting them to the right and then passing that right one over the left one. And you're going to twist that or braid it clear down to the end and secure with an elastic. And then simply wrap it up into a bun so you hide um, that elastic at the base and secure it with a few uh, bobby pins. Okay, so once you've got your bun secured, spray it and get it so it's nice and tidy. Now you're going to need some of these witch fingers and I'll link below in the description box where I got these or where you can find them. But I poked a little hole here in the back. Um, my husband has like a little uh, leather punch um, and I simply put a hole in the one side of the finger and then took a hairpin and put it through the hole so that you can secure these into the hair. You can use bobby pins or hair pins, it doesn't really matter. Then you're going to put these up on top of the bun so they kind of go down behind the bun. I guess you could put these in first, but I think it's easier to do it after the bun is um, secured. But you're gonna wanna put these out so you've got the four up on top, kind of like a regular hand would be if it was sitting up on top of the head, just kind of peeking over the crown of the head. And it really doesn't matter if they're not perfect or exact. I just tried to get the base of the fingers underneath the bun. And then here on the far left one for the thumb, just kind of make that space a little bit lower so it has that definition of it being the thumb off on the left side. And that's really all there is to this style. Adjust those fingers so they lay like you want. And here is a final look at the creepy Halloween hairstyle. She thought this was really funny to have those fingers poking up over her head. And keep watching because I've got some of the hairstyles we've done in the past for Halloween as well as some accessories. I will link all of those in the description box below. But uh, we hope you've liked this one and um, we'll try it out. Again, the link for those fingers are below um, that you can purchase those on Amazon. But here's the DIY cat ears that we shared last year that she still is one of her favorites. And then um, over the years we have shared several different Halloween accessories that you can do if you're not into totally dressing up. These five minute bat bows are the best. My little littlest one still loves wearing them. And this cute pumpkin bun and our spooky spider Halloween headband are just a few. So here's finished pictures of today's tutorial. Please comment and let us know what you think and like this and share it with your friends. And we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye bye.